you could have a chance to win this 240SX plus $1,000 cash. All you gotta go ahead and do is go to the link down below. Every $5 spent on MalleyMotorWorks.com earns you one entry. We got t-shirts, we got hoodies, we got beanies, we got hats, we got stickers, we got lanyards, we got everything you guys could ever want and more. Go ahead and check it out. A lot of cool stuff, a lot of colors, a lot of designs, all the sizes you guys need. So go ahead, head over to our website, grab your merch, get your entries, because this car could be yours. Good luck. Woo, damn. Jealous, bro, this is nice. Well, we are working on the K8. Is that a Supra? Dude, is that a Supra? Today, guys, major work needs to get done to this thing to get it looking right but that's what we're here for so welcome back guys we are getting close to the end of the giveaway uh, if you guys want to go ahead and get your entries please as as you know go ahead and check out the link below your five dollars you spend earns you one chance to win this car right here it is uh getting close to, to completion i know it may not look that way but we are we are hustling and grinding on this thing so today we are getting this thing to a point where we feel comfortable. Well, at least in this video, today we may not get everything done because we're waiting on some parts to seal this thing back up and get it looking just how it should. So we're gonna start off just by tearing this thing down. I just did compression tests on it uh, yesterday, I believe. Really, really healthy, very strong, 180 to 170 across the board. Uh, I mean, what else do we expect? It's a KA, you know what I mean? So good old truck motor, these things last forever. So, uh, you know, in the future, whoever wins this, if they wanna go ahead and boost it, if they wanna go ahead and, uh, you know, add some more power to this thing, they can do so. So let's go ahead, without further ado, I'm just gonna go ahead and start tearing this thing down, wiring, intake manifold, all this stuff over here is coming off, getting this thing down to, uh, to a bare block. So cue the time lapse. I feel like this is just extremely common to see these things this leaky. Uh, well, you know, that's, that's just the way it is. And we're gonna go ahead and fix it up, clean it up. It won't be leaking no more. So as you can see, it's all stripped. Got all my parts over here. Just a whole bunch of crap, honestly. A lot of stuff on here is gonna, actually gonna be deleted off this intake manifold just because, well, simplifies things and, and really some of the stuff uh, that is incorporated really just isn't necessary anymore. So. We're gonna go ahead, I got this thing kind of chained up. I'm gonna take it over to the pressure washer, get this thing cleaned up a little bit, hopefully get rid of all this grime. So let's get to that. guys so uh, the motor is outside but before we uh, dive in more into that I want to start dissecting and tearing down the intake manifold because I think I mentioned we're not gonna go ahead and use a lot of this stuff we're gonna delete um, some things here and there we have some EGR delete kit uh, things going on uh, vacuum lines will be deleted some lines to the throttle body some coolant lines will be deleted so I'm just gonna go ahead start tearing this down since we got to go ahead and clean it up anyway and then we'll just put back what we need so let's just get to it
right, so a quick breakdown of what we got going on here and what we all removed. All right, guys, so this is part of the EGR system. This is a back pressure transducer. Uh, this is no longer needed. However, we will keep this just in case, uh, you know, if someone wants to go ahead and put EGR back on their vehicle for whatever reasons, they will be able to. So uh, just for now, you know, it just makes things a whole lot easier, a whole lot cleaner, makes it look a whole lot better and uh, makes it run a whole, whole lot more efficiently. So we are gonna go ahead and remove that. Also part of the EGR system is this whole valve uh, assembly right here. This is actually the big pipe that connects over to your uh, header. I had to chop this one because whoever owned this car previously welded it for whatever reason. Uh, this right here is your PVC, I guess, runners. And this is, uh, I guess, the main part of uh, your PVC system for each cylinder. Here you have, I believe this is your cold start valve. It's got a wiring harness and we have, let's see, this whole little assembly of uh, hard lines, which we will be simplifying this as well. We'll show you more into that here later. But that's basically it. A couple little lines here and there, but this is also part of the EGR, which uh, we are not going to be using. Never mind, this is not part of the EGR. I think we will be using this. So uh, I'm gonna hold on to this. This may be charcoal canister related, but uh, for now, we'll leave that to the side. And we also took off these little, I guess, grommets that are for your um, injectors. So got everything all stripped off, ready to get this thing all cleaned up. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so I know we're a little all over the place, but we're back to the engine and it's time to get this thing torn down a little bit more and then we'll go ahead and clean it up, reseal it, get it looking how it should. So first things first, just starting to tear it down, valve cover, front cover, all this stuff as much as we can and uh, clean it up a little bit more than already is because obviously with the pressure washer, you can't get every single thing, but we got pretty dang close. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start tearing this thing down. Right, so there you guys have it. We have the block all painted up. We'll, we'll probably go ahead and just toss a little bit of clear coat on there. Uh, I think this stuff is actually gloss uh, engine enamel. And if it is, then I will just leave it because there's really no need to go ahead and put clear coat over a gloss enamel. So that's looking good. Uh, the block cleaned up very, very nice. It's kind of hard to see just because how dark and black it is on screen. But uh, one thing that we did notice that was kind of uh, particular, we're missing a guide here. So <laughs> you guys are probably wondering where the hell did the rest of that guide go? Let me show you. There it is, there are the remains. So uh, that was basically found all down in our oil pan area. And uh, well, obviously the guide has seen better days. I took a peek around and like the engine inside, like when the, you know, the crank and the bearings, all that stuff. So everything looks really, really good and clean. Like I said, we did the compression test. So this thing is in really good shape. So we'll just take care of this issue. It's a very common thing with these uh, KAs. They like to destroy guides. So we're gonna go ahead and replace everything that needs to be fixed. In the meantime, I wanna show you guys, here is the uh, original front cover that we had on it. This also obviously has the oil pump built into it. And we're not gonna go ahead and reuse this just because it is old, it is dated. It's probably seen a lot of just grime and dirt inside of that oil pump in general. So we're gonna go ahead and upgrade to this bad boy. Look at how nice this is. This is brand new, uh, beautiful piece. That's gonna go ahead and re replace what we got. So we'll go ahead and transfer over the oil pickup tube and you guys can see just how nice and clean and new it looks. 
But moving on, we have some parts. Uh, guys, Phase 2 Motor Trend has been a major help in this whole giveaway build, so please go ahead and check them out. They have a lot of stuff uh, for this car, for, for a lot of other cars as well. Uh, definitely give them a check uh, if you guys are interested. So uh, a lot of suspension, engine components, um, a lot of cool stuff, a lot of helpful stuff, a lot of lighting, check them out. We have some uh, parts here. This is just an oil drain plug, obviously. It's magnetic, so the nice part is if you ever have anything in your, in your oils, uh, that you don't want hopefully this will go ahead and pick that up I've, I've always had these in my cars never had they ever caught anything which I guess is a good thing but uh, it's always just nice reassurance so again over here we have the EGR little delete plate very cool deal I'm sure a lot of KA guys out there may already have this or may need this so you can go ahead and as you guys can see we have the whole intake manifold down here kind of cleaned up split apart still it goes right where EGR went so I'm gonna go ahead that includes a gasket all the hardware got an aluminum plate Go ahead and install this real quick. We got this thing getting together pretty dang good. So as you can see, intake manifold is on. We have a brand new front lower cover. You guys saw that brand new water pump is on, cleaned up the upper cover, new guides installed. Everything is all serviced right to where it needs to be. We did a lot of deleting on the intake manifold, a lot of the EGR stuff, uh, the EGR like purge valve. There's a lot of stuff that really was taken out due to the EGR. So that's all back in. We also got rid of that major little clump of hard lines. Let me show you. I did not put this back in. First off, because it's just it's just a mess. It really doesn't help us out in any way, shape, or form. Uh, it's just part of like cool lines for the throttle body, random vacuum that is a lot associated to EGR. So we're no longer running that. As you can see, the old front cover right there. We still need to rob that pickup tube. But without that stuff on there, it looks a whole lot cleaner in there, much less cluttered. Obviously, we got it uh, kind of refinished. It looks incredible, really nice. You guys can see pretty happy with how it's turning out. So uh, at the moment, I'm actually working on the valve cover. And if you guys have any questions about this whole KA, I know, like I said, this isn't gonna be an in-depth how to do this, that, because we are in the time crunch, guys. Today, this video goes live. I believe you have one week, one week, seven days left to get entries for this, for this 240 right here, okay? You did not wanna miss it. Uh, currently, I will show you what I'm doing out here. We're working on this valve cover. Love having this booth right here, man. If you guys need anything painted, valve covers, big, small parts, <laughs> cars, we got it. I'll let your boy know. So we got this thing here. As you guys can see, it's pretty much prepped, ready to go. First things first, basically, I just stripped it all down with some 80 grit sandpaper, took it basically all the way down, 80 grits, a wire wheel, just took off as much as the factory paint and finish that's on it uh, in the first place. Then from there, use some etching primer, literally from a can, Rust-Oleum, uh, it works really well. Oddly, that's the one Rust-Oleum product that I really don't have too much of a <laughs> bad, you know, it just it just works, it actually works. Let's, let's just be simple with it. A Little bit of etch primer, like one, uh, two light coats, uh, just to get some good coverage on there. Let it dry for 30 minutes, and then I applied a 2K uh, uh, primer, wet sanded it with 500 grit, also sanded down the letters, you guys can see. So we're gonna go ahead, we're obviously gonna paint this. I just wanted to take the primer off the letters. <laughs> we're not gonna go ahead and clear coat this thing, but that way it's just a little less work uh, once the color's on. Let's go ahead and get this thing painted. Hope you guys like the color.
actually, I'm loving this way more than I thought I would, guys. By the way, can we just take a minute to appreciate the finish? I mean, bro, that is glass. Guys, I, I tried a new technique <laughs> for my clear coat and damn, it came out so good. Um, not that it didn't come out good before, but uh, this, what I did, it, uh, the secret touch. Uh, if you guys, like I said, need anything painted, let me know, I'll get you looking just like this because from now that I know all this, this is wild. And uh, I mean, this is just straight out the gun, so. And again, not that the 240 looks bad because that looks incredible also, but this took it, um, I mean, this is, this is you guys, the results speak for themselves, man. So yeah, the color doesn't look exactly right on camera. It's like a lime yellow, just safety hazard really in your face highlighter color. I just let it bake in here. I think it's ready to get put on that KA. Let's go ahead and slap it on. Wow, so like I said guys, on camera, you're probably not getting the true colors here, but let me tell you in person, <laughs> this looks really good. And seeing them together actually is gonna, it's gonna be pretty cool because uh, I haven't actually comboed these two colors together before and I'm looking at it and I'm loving it. So we're actually gonna do this color on the brake calipers. We had big CTSV brakes and also for the uh, rear Z32 brake conversion as well. We may go ahead and accent this color somewhere else here and there, but for now, I think we'll start with the brakes. This cover is looking absolutely epic. So let me know what you guys think. Um, and if you guys want something done like this, this color specifically, I got a bunch of paint left over, so hit me up. All right, guys, well, that's gonna be it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. And like I said, if you want your valve cover done in any color, I got you. Doesn't matter what the car, I can help you out. Whatever you need painting, guys, please let me be the one that can uh, give you guys that ice cream paint job, you know what I mean? So, very stoked. Seven days left, guys. Remember, seven days left to get your entries for this car. Do not sleep. We got so many designs, so many colors, sizes. We got everything you guys want. So, uh, remember, every $5 spent on MalleMotorWorks.com uh, earns you one chance to win this car, plus $1,000 cash, a paid trip out here to come hang out. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be a blast. So engine looking great guys. Next step, I'm currently um, sanding the body kit, okay? The body kit's getting painted tomorrow. I wasn't too stoked. There's a couple little dust nibs that fell on the doors, guys. So here I am being a freaking perfectionist, making sure you guys get the perfect paint job. And uh, we, don't, we, don't, we don't stop until it's to the level that we expect. So body kit, about to restore the whole engine harness. Put the engine in, five-speed swap. You guys know the deal. It's about to go down. It's gonna be a absolute ripper, okay? This thing is gonna be sick. So, hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys in the next one. Hopefully sooner than later. We have a lot of mods still to do. Boxes and boxes of parts. You guys can see this place is a mess and I'm so sorry because there's just so much is going on right now. It's just wild, but enjoy. Uh, get your entries, good luck, and uh, bye. <laughs>